Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install the Sensei Light Smart Thermostat, which we've got right here, and was just launched in the spring of 2023. One unique feature of the Sensei Smart Thermostat is that it doesn't require a common wire in most installations. So that means you're going to be able to install it with or without a common wire for most HVAC systems. The first thing that you need to do to get your Sensei Light Smart Thermostat installed is remove the existing thermostat. So go down to your HVAC system and turn it off at the circuit breaker or sometimes you'll have a switch that will turn it off. Once you've got the power completely off to your existing HVAC system, you can then remove the thermostat itself. So I'm going to turn the power off and then we're going to remove the thermostat. Okay, we have the power cut off to our existing thermostat in HVAC system, so now we can remove it. Typically, there's going to be tabs on the top, sides, or bottom that you just need to press in in order to remove your existing thermostat. So we're going to take ours off, and now you want to pause for a moment and take a picture of all the existing wiring in the existing terminals. So do that right now. In our existing thermostat system, we have a C wire or common wire. Even though it's not required for the Sense8 Lite Smart Thermostat, we can still use it for installation. The next wire we have is our W1 wire or white wire, and that is our call for heating. We've got our RH wire or R wire, and that is the power wire. And then we've got our Y wire, and that is our air conditioning wire. And our last wire is our G wire, which is our fan control wire. Now that we've identified all the wires, we can remove them from the existing thermostat backer plate. So remove the wires and then remove the thermostat backer plate. Now that we've got the existing thermostat removed, we're ready to install the Sensei Light thermostat backer plate, which we've got right here. So we're just going to take our wires and we're going to put them through the hole in the center of this device, and then we need to mount this to the wall. Now it's important to note there are fewer terminals on the Sensei Light Smart thermostat. So if you have dual stage heating and cooling, this is not the ideal thermostat for you because it does not work with two stage heating or two Two stage cooling. However, I'm installing it on a typical HVAC system with a gas fired furnace and an air conditioner, and this is going to work just fine. It also has a terminal for heat pumps, so it should work for most heat pump situations. Now let's secure this to the wall, and then we're going to wire up the wires into the terminals. Now we've got the Sensei Light Smart Thermostat backer plate secured to the wall. It even has a little level built in so you can level it out. Now there are two screw holes here. I only put one in because I test out a lot of smart thermostats and I don't want to put any more holes in my wall. Now we're ready to match up the wires with the picture we took earlier. So we're going to put each one of those wires in the proper terminal. I'm going to take the R wire or power wire and insert it into the top R terminal here and then secure it. The next terminal we have is our Y terminal or yellow terminal and that's for our air conditioning. So let's put our Y wire and yellow wire in the Y terminal. The next terminal we have is our G wire or our fan terminal and green wire. So we're going to take our G wire and secure it in the G terminal. Now we're going to take our white wire and secure it in the W terminal, which we've got right here. And in most cases, it's not required, but we have it. So we're going to secure it because we have it. The common wire, our C wire, we're going to secure it in the C terminal down here at the bottom of the Sensei Light Smart Thermostat. We've got all our wires secured to the proper terminals, which means we're ready to secure the smart thermostat on the base plate. It does come with two batteries. You need to put those in the back of this in the battery port, and then you can place it right on top of the mounting bracket. 
We've got our batteries installed and it lights up once you got the batteries installed. So now we're just gonna take the Sensei light and we're going to put it right on the plate. Just line it up and then push in and you'll hear it click in. And now we've got our Sensei Light Smart Thermostat installed. So we're ready to restore the power back at our HVAC system. So turn on that circuit breaker or switch you turned off for your HVAC system. And now on the camera, it may look like the screen is cycling, but it's not. That's just an effect of the lens. In real life, this looks kind of like an alarm clock display and or a calculator display. It is certainly clear and you can see it. It's just a little bit strange with the lighting and the camera in terms of how it appears on film. So let's go turn on the power at the circuit breaker and we're gonna get this set up. We restored the power at the HVAC system and now we're ready to set it up. Now you're going to need to download the Sensei app and set up a username and password if you haven't done so already. So we're gonna open up the Sensei app. I've already got it installed on my phone, but once you enter a username and password, this is the home screen that it'll take you to. Now from here, we're going to click in the upper left-hand corner on the plus symbol and we're going to add a device. So in our scenario, we're adding the Sensei Light Smart Thermostat. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click a new installation. It currently is mounted, so I'm going to click that option down here at the bottom. Here it says Sensei would like to use Bluetooth. I'm going to click OK. And once I click OK, this is the next screen that pops up. We already turned the power off, so I'm going to click Next. It says detach a thermostat from the base plate. We're going to click Next. And now we need to pick the terminals that we already attached. So we attached an R, W, Y, G, and C terminal. Now I'm going to click Next. Select furnace type, we have a gas furnace. I'm going to click Next. It says find the QR code. Inside of the box that the Sensei Touch Smart Thermostat came with, there's a QR code to scan that's going to get this installed and set up on your device. Now, if you threw that out or you don't have that QR code, the QR code's also located on the back of the thermostat. You could just pull this off gently and scan that QR code on the back if you needed to. So I'm going to click Next here. Now scan your QR code. Once you scan the QR code, this is the next screen that pops up. We're just going to click Next. Turn on power, we've already done that, so we're going to click Next. Wi-Fi setup. On the thermostat, press and hold the mode button for four seconds. You will see setup and Wi-Fi icons appear. The mode button are these three buttons right here in the center, so just hold those down. One, two, three, four, five, and now it popped up, we're going to click Next. Now we need to select our Wi-Fi network. Choose your Wi-Fi network and enter your password. Once you enter your password, just click Done. Join network. Configuring thermostat. Connecting to Wi-Fi router. This may take a moment. Now we need to name our thermostat. I'm going to give it a custom name and just call it the L-I-T-E because it's the Sensei Light Smart Thermostat and click Next. Here it says register the light thermostat. So I'm just going to click, I'll fill them in manually and enter your address and that will help you get real time weather on the app. Now we're going to click Next. Enter your contractor information if you want to. I'm going to click Next registering your thermostat. Great, our Sensei Smart Thermostat is now set up. We can click Start Using Sensei Thermostat. Here, we've got our Sensei Light right at the top, so let's click on that. And then once we click on these numbers here, we can change the temperature. So let's just change it to 80 and see what happens on the Sensei Light. You can see the little flame came on and that means our Sensei Light is now heating. Now, if I turn it down here, that will turn it down and it will no longer be heating. So we'll give it a second and this should turn off. 
Currently the temperature in our house is 73 and the humidity is 32%. And you can see the heating logo is no longer on because we turned the temperature down to 59 degrees. Now with the Sensei Lite, the biggest selling point is that it doesn't require a common wire for most installations, which makes it much easier to install if you only have a few wires in your thermostat and you don't have a C wire in the bundle of your thermostat wiring. Now, some of the other features of the Sensei Light Smart Thermostat is that it tells you your current location, the current temperature, the highs and the lows. You can change from heating to cooling down here. So if we wanted to click cool, we could click cool down there. You can also change this to be auto or off. So in auto mode, it will change between heating or cooling depending on your temperature set points. I'm going to leave it in cool for now. You also have a fan here and you can turn it so your fan is auto on, which means it'll turn on whenever you've got heating and cooling running, but you could also have it always on if you wanted to just circulate air or you can click circulate fan and it will run 10% of an hour and just circulate air throughout your house and you could change how much time you want that to circulate but I'm just going to leave it on fan auto for now. And then we're gonna go back to the home screen. You can also create schedules for your smart thermostat here. You can create a program schedule by clicking right here, and then you can edit the schedule and create a cooling schedule or a heating schedule or a cooling and heating schedule. So it automatically populated some set points and times, could go in here and change any of these times and you can also change any of these set points so i'm going to click done right there and then i'm going to click save and now we've got a cooling schedule so i'm going to go back and i'm going to click done again and now you can see our cooling schedule pops up down here at the bottom now after a week or two worth of use you're going to have usage statistics but we don't have any at this point because we just installed our sense 8 light smart thermostat now, you have more limited features on the thermostat itself than some of the higher end Sensei smart thermostats because the Sensei Lite is designed to be a more economical smart thermostat option as well as not require a common wire. But from the thermostat itself, you can turn the temperature up or down so we can turn it all the way down to let's say 65 and then you can see that our cooling came on. Now, if we wanted to change it from cooling to heat, we just click right there and now it's on heat and I can put this all the way up to, let's just say 79. And you can see the little fire logo is on there, meaning it's in heating mode. But if I wanna switch back, I can turn it off or scroll through and now I'm back to cooling mode and I can just set this as needed again and it would stay in that cooling mode to 66 degrees. So thank you for watching this video on how to install your Sensei Light Smart Thermostat that just launched in the spring of 2023. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.